Greetings fellow ukuleleans, Jeff Weinberger coming at you here with a new tutorial. Today I'd like to go over Somewhere Over the Rainbow, the Brother Is version. Everyone knows it and loves it. I did a video on it uh, a couple of years back, a few years back, several years back. And uh, that was my old YouTube channel, so I'm doing a new one for my new YouTube channel. This uh, still is a very popular song and the strum um, I want to demystify for you today. There's um, just a lot of people ask me uh, to show them this strum. It's uh, very popular. It's uh, something that people listen to and maybe they don't understand exactly the mechanics of it. So I'd like to break that down for you today. Um, there are other videos on this. Uh, I'm not sure if any of them get it quite right. There's a lot of different interpretations, but this is as best as I can teach you my interpretation of Brada is a strum. So first to know is that he used a tenor ukulele and it had a low G string on it. You don't have to have that to make this uh, sound good. I do, I have a tenor with a low G, but um, if you have a soprano with a high G or whatever you have, even a baritone, you can make this work, it'll uh, it'll happen. But to truly get that brother is sound, maybe you wanna have a, a tenor with a low G. All right, one of the secrets to this strum is separating the strings, being able to take um, your right hand and control it enough so that you're hitting some of your strings some of the time and other strings other times not all four of your strings all of the time so that careful aim that precision that's uh super important to getting this so the very first step is you want to aim your pointer finger down at your g string and possibly your c string if you happen to catch that that's okay but what you're trying to do is not play your e and a strings you're trying to get one or at the most two strings on a downstroke. So that's the first step. Sometimes Brother Is does that once, and other times he does it twice with a down up, but we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's assume right now we're just hitting it once. All right, so you got that, and you might wanna just practice that. Aiming for those strings closest to your eyes. Not all of them, just some of them. All right, once you get that going, do a down up on the other strings, your C, E, and A strings, perhaps. And then just practice that. That's kind of basically the boom chicka strum. It's kind of easy. It's probably something you already know how to do. Of course, I'm doing this on a C chord, as he did in his song. So that's the first step, is to get the boom chicka going. That's the first half. This is going to be a lot easier than you might think if you've never tried this strum. You might have thought, wow, this is uh, super advanced. But believe it or not, it's not so bad. Um, and then what you got is the chuck. And a chuck we do on beat three. And what that is, is when you go to strike all four of your strings with your index finger, but the palm of your hand comes in and stops those strings before they have a chance to ring. So you're getting this percussive sound that doesn't really have a pitch to it. Like that, almost like a drum. So you might want to practice that if you're not experienced with chucks. It's basically this part right here, that fleshy muscle part right under your thumb there. That's where you want to touch with. So if you've got that, you're ready to go. So you got your close strings on a down. You got the other strings on a down up. That would be two and. On B3, you do it chuck. And then it's all downhill from there. You just finish off the measure basically with an up, down, up, and, four, and. One, two, and, three, and, four, and. One, two, and, three, and four and down down up chuck up down up so slow that doesn't sound like much make it faster and there it is the magical brother is strum now another secret to this is he doesn't always just hit his um g string once sometimes he does it down and up like this So that can be a little mysterious. You might be listening to it and say, hmm, 
it sounds like he's doing something different each time and he kind of does it's very spontaneous and um yeah we could analyze it you know we could listen to the recording and say on measure one he does it once and on measure 14 he did it twice and if you want to go into that level of detail that's fine but just know that um you want to alternate you want to sometimes hit one initial strum on beat one but then there's other times where you want to do two strums on beat one a down and an up so i don't really uh calculate exactly what i'm doing i do it spontaneously like this i guess it's mostly down up um, but occasionally he just hits it once for a down all right so to review let's go over this one more time you got a down strum on just the top two strings at the most no more than that a down up on the C E and A strings a chuck on beat three and then an up down up on and four and those are the components this 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 and that put them together It's the magical brother is strum. All right, fellow ukuleles, hope you enjoyed that. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to like. Be sure to click that notify bell. I'll leave a link down below to the brother is video so you can watch and listen to him doing it. I highly recommend you play along with him and soak up that feel, that island feel, and uh, do it by assimilation. And I will also link to song sheets so you can catch yourself the chords and chord diagrams and all of that. So you want to learn this great song somewhere over the rainbow you'll be able to learn it no problem all right fellow ukuleles you take care bye bye